of Prince William and Kate Middleton with increased tension and anxiety that they are feeling. King Charles backlash and reports that Meghan Markle is permanently done with the UK. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, what are you doing guys? It's just one click. Click the notifications bell, comment down below, send us super thanks if you guys wish to, and please give this video a thumbs up. Back at it again with my friend in the back, you know, painting, currently right now, one of his masterpieces, and also the beautiful Tulum, the beautiful Tulum. But anyways, let's get into this video, guys, and let's get into this royal chaos, is what I really want to call it, from what is being described. But a royal commentator has expressed that Prince William and Kate Middleton are feeling extreme, intense anxiety because they are not prepared to become the next monarch and queen consort of the UK. The report said the Duke of Cambridge, William, will be the next monarch and he's supposed to receive support in his duties from you know, his wife, Kate. The prospect of these positions as the next monarch is causing extreme intense anxiety for both of these individuals. News of Charles's cancer has put William and Catherine in frightening proximity to ascending the throne. The prospect of it, I am told, is causing them very intense anxiety. The Mirror has quoted the former Vanity Fair editor, Tina Brown. So, you know, Tina's making this, I would give her more credence, more credibility than, you know, a random royal expert. Um, so that in itself is very interesting. I'm not surprised by it. I don't think William is prepared. I don't think Kate is absolutely prepared. I don't even think Charles is prepared. This monarchy died when Queen Elizabeth died because nobody else has the understanding and flexibility and showcase and tenacity as Elizabeth. Um, you know, Diana was there and even Meghan Markle was there. Those two were the beacons to pass on this monarchy and even Kate, if she actually was a friend to Meghan, but she never was. But I do think that, you know, William is not prepped to be the king. He absolutely is not. And let's face it, Kate Middleton is only getting weaker as time goes on because of what she's diagnosed with, because evidently we have not seen the woman, but we've seen Charles multiple times. So to me, it is very intriguing to see what is going on. You know, the reports that, you know, William um, is playing the royal original Elizabeth protocol game where never complain and um, be silent and etc. I don't think that he is playing the game. I think that he's doing something else because Elizabeth, while she never complained, she was seen. Seeing is believing. And William is clearly not abiding by that because Kate has not been seen anywhere. So I don't know what protocols they're playing with because when it comes to privacy, I think anybody is entitled to that, especially if you are ill. But once you are reporting that there's going to be a return after several months and that return is nowhere to be seen and fake edited pictures are, you know, willingly being released and then they're being trusted as not a trustable source, food for thought that, you know, some things are going on that we don't know about that just seems to be quite dreary quite dreary indeed. King Charles backlash, the king's plan is to build an ideal town in Kent, has sparked a major outrage amid accusations of swallowing up historic villages into one urban mass. For those who are not in the UK, Kent is a particular area in England. The Duchy of Cornwall has proposed to build 2,500 homes on 320 acres of agricultural land in the medieval market town of Faversham, Kent, which has caused absolute outrage because it goes against the complete monarch stance on environmental and farming issues. Not really surprised, guys. Of course, it was exposed by the Times, I believe, that, you know, he was stealing the homes of those who had died, who didn't have a will, and all that money was going to King Charles. From the very own of his own people from the north of the UK, that was going on. So I'm not really surprised that this is happening again, that there are outrage in communities, once again, exclaiming to us that King Charles is simply not the public's favourite. He simply does not, you know, it doesn't reflect in that nature at all. He's just not a person for the public. No matter how much he thinks he is, he absolutely is not in any capacity. Now, Charles Ray, a former royal correspondent for The Sun, has said, I am of the opinion that Meghan Markle won't ever set foot in the UK ever again. I just don't think she wants her to have anything to do at all with this country obviously referring to Meghan. Now, this one makes sense to me. On the return of, you know, Prince Harry, which is going to be on the lips of every article in the UK press, going to find Harry to blame and, you know, use this, a great distraction from the Kate Middleton saga. They want to really move on from that, which I think they're having a very hard time to do so because it blew up very similar to how the Prince Andrew bad interview blew up. And of course, they want to move on. So they're going to use the Prince Harry stuff. But Meghan Markle, you know, I don't think would be returning to the UK with him and I don't think that she needs to. The UK absolutely truly like crap for the past five years, let alone people within the establishment, the firm, Kate Middleton and etc. making her cry. She doesn't need to be here anymore. What does she need to return for? 
She's no longer a working royal. Leave her with her kids in America to live a peaceful life. She has no need or desire to return to the UK unless there is an immediate funeral, much like how we all saw with Queen Elizabeth and even Prince Philip. So I'm not surprised that Meghan is done with the UK, done with the UK fandom. They've driven her out and for her own sake, sanity, mental health, she needs to just maintain that boundary, which is a very healthy thing to do. She expressed that she was suicidal and cried on you know, her documentaries to us multiple times, yet the UK believed that she was lying. I believe that none of it was true and that she's faking it. But when Kate Middleton sits down and discusses that she's been diagnosed with cancer, the entire UK press suddenly feels like she's a beacon, that the public should be ashamed, even though they've been lying to us and gaslighting us, and that we need to be there for her and support her. But when Meghan, who had a miscarriage, and was discussing how she was suicidal, she was laughed at blamed for being a liar and there were literally the sun columns from presenters in the uk asking for her to be stripped from her clothes and walk naked like this is an episode of game of thrones absolutely pathetic and it pisses me off the hypocrisy of how megan was treated in comparison to kate middleton kate, kate middleton is not the new diana i know because she's a princess of wales people want her to be the new diana it's not gonna work she's not that girl she doesn't have the popularity if anybody was going to be the new diana of the uk monarchy it was going to be megan markle let's make that abundantly clear if kate's comparison to anybody i would say so i wouldn't even say camilla but even in that range um, at best. She definitely is not the new Diana just because she's a princess of Wales. The only new Diana is nobody, but if anybody was to be a comparison, it definitely would be Meghan for how she was treated. And I feel like there are so many comparisons for people, you know, expressing, oh, Diana went through X, Y, Z, now Kate, what are things going on with William? And people skip out Meghan and jump over her as if she didn't exist, but she was treated and berated, like, awfully in the past five years. I don't blame her at all if she's done with the UK. As far as I'm concerned, she's probably thinking good riddance. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts are on the Royal Nugget video. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's just one click to subscribe. Vlad, an artist, painting in this video as I'm ranting away. Let us know what your thoughts are on his paintings. The links and the bio below as well as his Instagram. All of this, you know, he's painted. He's got a major exhibition happening in Saudi Arabia in Riyadh on the 2nd of May. So, you know, if you work in the creative arts field and you want to come, come on down. Get in contact and you know you can come here and see the pieces live. Subscribe, comment down below, and we'll catch you guys soon for another video. Talib has ran, he's over the whole situation with Kate. And you know, as soon as I mentioned the word King Charles, he was over it. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys soon for another video. As I expressed in my two videos before, I've done a a review of Scoop about Prince Andrew, what came about for that interview, how it was handled internally and how it was seen externally, as we all can remember and recall. But definitely go and watch that because I don't really watch much Netflix movies or documentaries and stuff. I'm not going to lie to you guys. They're so long, like I lose interest. So this kept me captivated from the beginning to the end. You would absolutely enjoy it. The acting was fantastic, beautiful. They did everything properly and carefully to show the gripping intensity as the show carries on. It was just great to see. So please, I'm not even being sponsored by Netflix to say this, just go and watch Scoop. You would enjoy it. And it really goes to show you how much of a sinister, evil man Andrew actually is. Subscribe, comment down below, and we'll catch you guys soon for another video.